What is going on everyone? Griffin here and we're coming at you with another gameplay analysis. This analysis was submitted by Garbo himself. He said that this was a very interesting gameplay that he wanted to submit over. Uh, apparently it is a 3v4 Ibex and SLC gameplay with glitch. So let's head over. Let's check it out. Let's discuss it. So we are going to be coming in early with some wanted gameplay here, and we do have the glitch pick locked. So I'm assuming that we're going to start out with the Ibex, but let's see what Garbo actually purchases going into round one. We'll talk about it and we'll discuss it here. So we're just, we're in the dark, you know what I mean, man? So we do have the Ibex pickup here with the Evade. So here, if we take a look real quick at Glitch's actual loadout, we do have the Flashbang Simtex, of course, has access to shotguns and SMGs, you know, whatever pistol you want, of course. But with his perk loadout, he has a decent set of perks, but not a great set of perks, in my opinion. Tracker Rounds is really good at that legendary level. Armor's good, evades good, everything else. Bounce Back is not a bad perk at the uh, epic level, but it's not the way that it used to be, right? Uh, Glitch used to be a lot stronger than he currently is, but if you know how to use him, know how to time his ability out, he will be a very, very fun and successful rogue to actually play. So here we do see that the point is going to be here on this seaside here in the middle of the street alley whatever you want to call it so we do have to beg the question is garbo going to take a more direct approach by going through this building here or is he going to try to flank through the mid or he could actually flank through house here now whenever we're playing strikeout because that's what we're currently playing here you already know with their team comp with the dima with the juke the runway is nine times out of ten going to be setting on this perch right back here so you know that that's almost always going to take one person out of the equation whenever you get into these gunfights but with dima and juke and also seeker it would not surprise me if they pushed into this far warehouse here and were util spamming this actual landing side warehouse so knowing this going into it if you take a more uh direct approach by just pushing directly through to where the statue is, then you could get the drop on the people that are actually rotating outside of the warehouse. We'll see how Garbo handles it here, but just looking at this team comp, you know that they are going to get util spammed like crazy right out of the gate. I cannot provide that. So Garbo looks like he's going to take... Garbo, hello Kyle, what up man? How he's actually going to be playing street. They are already on site. The glitch hack does not come out. He sees someone running into their side warehouse. He knows they're in here. It's the runway, which is playing very aggressive and very out of pocket. Best gun in the game. Stops the res from happening, but Seeker is on that van. No utility to try to lure that Seeker out. He's going to have to play with some movement here and is able to get the drop, but is getting shot in the back currently. Does trigger the, the trip mine, but it doesn't do any damage. All right, someone is on point. He does hear this. It looks like it's the Dima. Rush in, get three pumps into Dima and gets him out. They are currently contesting the site. He sees two of them. One's down, one's unaccounted for. Does hear the juke in Far Warehouse. Runway pushes in, not going to net anything, but he's going to be pushed uh, here by two. Yeah, right? yeah, I'm just doing a little warm up, so I'm a little focused. Seeker jumps out the window. He's got a reload. Juke doesn't get dropped. Does get dropped here. Oh, ran out of, ran out of Yeah, ran out of ammo there. So I ran out of ammo with the Avex. That's a good sign. Now that's a very unfortunate down. What I do see though is someone on Garbo's team is actually on the perch up top. I don't know if it's the Saint. I don't know because the Saint is currently looks like he's going to be going through the courtyard. Looks like Anvil is playing on this truck back here and actually is down. So in the process of going down, 
uh, and Dallas looks like they're over here as well. Garbo is the only force that is actually trying to contest the objective right now. First time I died, now the rest of my team's done. <clears throat> The enemy Shout team is getting the res. Stream, he was, as a matter of fact, he was. He's gonna get what two levels mean? on his ibex here. Putting your little kitty ears up. I don't know what that means. Looks like he's gonna opt for a flank. Beginning system shutdown. I'm in. There is someone in close warehouse there. Yes. He's going to try to flip this around. They may come out the window on him here. Sounds like they're still playing that top warehouse. Yep, and they did drop out. Doesn't know that Garbo's there. He gets some decent shots. He's going to be able to get out of the Dima Blast, but he's going to be in a 1v3 situation. Unfortunately, they dropped him. Anvil left the game, so it is a 3v4 situation. Can we turn around with the Ibex? Wouldn't that just be crazy? Garbo got revealed from that sticky sensor. He sees two of them. Doesn't know if one's behind him. Decent shots right there on the seeker. Gonna flip the side around. You could have had me there, bro. That was gonna creepy creep. Little creeper. If they can hold sight. If they can hold sight, they will be able to turn this around, but 3v4 is hard. There's a the Dallas is unable to win his gunfight. Garbo hears them rotating. He gets some shots on da uh, Dima, able to get into cover. The Saint does go down, which is unfortunate. It's 1v4. He can actually do some good things here. He does see where the Seeker's at. They're going to spawn somewhat relatively close to the Seeker. Yes, and they do. Garbo picks up the KA-30. There's three in the mid. Seeker's playing the back. It looks like they're fixing to be pushing him. Dallas goes down. Good shots in on the Juke down. Good shots on the Dima down. It's a 2v1 situation here. Garbo can absolutely capitalize on this. He needs to clear the point. Is able to drop the Seeker there. Now it's a 1v1 scenario. He sees the runway. She is going to be playing a little bit more hesitantly. Because she does not, I don't know what AR she has, but she doesn't have anything that can be as explosive as the Ibex can. There you have Dude. it. <laughs> ah, God damn. And there you have it, folks. Get em. Get em. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, Ibex, man. 1-0 going into round number two. So Garbo is going to pick up evade, or he picked up evade already. He's going to max out the Ibex. He's going to pick up bounce back. He's not going to have enough money to do anything else. I would assume that his next purchase is going to be armor, and then he's going to start leaning heavily into utility. Uh, but we'll kind of see how that plays out. He may undo the purchase and decide to go flashbangs here. Nope, he sticks with what he's got. He pulls the grill out. He's feeling it. Going into round two. Down one team. Backfield doesn't work. Doesn't need to Dude. work. 12 <laughs> downs in the first round. We do see that the point here is going to be in this courtyard area, which is a notorious place for this point to be on this specific map because you essentially have all the access points. You have sliding door. You have both the archways. You have multiple ways from the actual house side itself. We do know that the runway is going to be trying to position herself, hopefully in a way to be able to get snipes, which is more or less going to take that person out of the equation in total. But Garbo could try to play for this sliding door here in the middle and try to maintain some type of mid control from there. Or he could decide to go through house here, be able to try to get the drop on him from the back. Or he could just take the actual fight here to the front line and just hope for the best there. Now with his team comp with the Dallas, the Dallas would probably be best in my opinion to hold down this uh, sliding doorway. Whereas the Saint would probably be better playing a little bit further back and a little bit more reserved. But I'm not exactly sure how coordinated this team is going to be, especially with it being a 3v4 situation here. Big. Let's go. This is going to be the tough part right here. This middle one. Yes, it is. is. A, oh, we get a backfill. So they are getting a backfill. Garbo's going to go through house. He sees them, but they know that he's Come here. 
He's fixing to get surrounded. Okay. Backfill lag happens, and back he's going to get 1v3. Very, very unfortunate. The back Saint's going to feed right field. into him. It looks like the backfill actually picked the Lancer up, which is a good pickup on this map, in my opinion. There's a lot of routes that you can actually flank from, especially whenever the, the point is in the location that it is currently at. And inside the house, the, the, the Lancer's going to be able to, like, go nutty there. Are they going to stick around? That's the real question. Saint hasn't been dropped yet. Garbo gets great shots here on the runway. They've got sticky sensors and drones. The Lancer gets taken out. Garbo gets great shots in on the Juke. The Saint does get dropped, which is unfortunate. He knows that they're there. He's revealed because of the sticky sensors. He is still revealed. He must have one stuck to his body. I swear to God, I'm good. He gets the drop on Seeker. Dima gets dropped. Now it's time to retake point. 11-11 respawns here. There comes the Juke drone. He sees the one in the house. He's going to actually opt to vault up and take the gunfight um, head on, which is unfortunate. Like He's buying a Simtex. That is going to help in all these 11? engage. Why am I carrying my team? Get it together, my friends. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? There you see it, folks. You do not have aim assist on sticky sensors or any other type of deployables. Uh, that that goes to show you that even with the Umbra Spider, you do not have aim assist, which is very unfortunate. But it is what it is. We do see the Dallas get dropped here. Uh, they are contesting site, but they're unable. Garbo's team's unable to retake site. Lancer gets Lancer gets dropped. Runway may get dropped here. Garbo's in a one v two, one v three. He gets Dima blasted, takes a significant amount of damage. Is able to snake his way out. He hears him behind him. He's going to try to drop down. Dima impact grenade comes out. He gets dropped. Seeker is half. Unfortunately, Garbo is unable to drop him. He levels the Simtex up, which is a huge W. Going to be able to throw that quite a bit quicker. They have so much stuff just lingering. Sticky sensors, juke drones. Decent shots in on the Seeker there. Great shots. Garbo's in a good flanking position, but is unable. The range on the Ibex is absolutely atrocious here. Needs Gunsmith to be able to actually do some great work with it. He picks the Riptide up. He's in a 1v1 here. The Saint could help with the 1v1, but ignores. Dallas gets dropped. Garbo oh, gets dropped. She's, no. she's legitimately one shot, which is unfortunate. They are out of respawns so here. Stop playing around with the Ibex. I need a seeker in the past, get a new can of seeker, and then can of server two for real. I mean, you're not wrong, Harry. You're not wrong. But guess what? The developers do not give a shit. I'm not a content creator, so I can say that. But I can get away with it. What is Saint doing? Saint, Saint gets like dropped. Lancer gets dropped. It's unfortunate. So Garbo does opt for the armor there. So that is going to help him in a lot of these gunfights. Probably not going to help too much with the Dima explosions or any of the other util. Uh, it will absolutely help with the impact grenades, which two of the characters on the enemy team has. But it's not going to help with the increased damage from the bounce grenades that Seeker has. It's not going to help with the Dima blasts. It's not going to help with the Juke drones very, very much. It will a little bit, but not a whole lot. Uh, and then the way that they're able to get their utility back with the runway briefcase just... That's what sucks about respawn game modes on this game. Since things don't despawn like they should and they're supposed to, you can legitimately stick or sticky sensor an entire site and uh, be able to basically see where everyone is at at all times. Okay, so uh, I'll give them one more round. Like, I'll give them one more. If I can't, if I can't beat them this time with Ibex, we'll, we'll play something a little sweatier weapon. What's up, Garber? What up, Andre? What so as you saw there, Garbo does have, what, 19 kills? Yeah, 19 downs here. He's hopping out of the plane. This is going to be on that A site, which is going to be inside of the house here, which is a very, very difficult point to actually have point fights over. You have the library, you have the upstairs of the house, you have the multiple different ways of entering into the house. This is going to be perfect for Dima, 
for Juke, also for Seeker being able to reveal the entire team. Garbo's just going to have to get in there and just do some bare knuckle boxing on these fools. It's going to be very difficult for him to be able to like hold this down by himself, but he does have the Lancer. Hopefully get some really, really good flanks out there. If the Dallas can stay back, down a couple of people, get a couple of reveals, and they're able to capitalize on that, that'll help. And if the Saint can actually get some downs, or actually get some revives. Currently, the Saint has zero downs, zero revives, 339 damage, which is very unfortunate whenever you look at this stack here. The lowest person on the enemy team has five downs. The lowest person on Garbo's team has zero downs. So this is classic Rogue Company matchmaking at its finest. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are we feeling today? Dun, dun, dun. I'm awake. I've been up since six this morning. I had no coffee and no tea, and somehow I'm wired. Take that, bitch. And lost. <laughs> and lost. <laughs> like, what up, bitch? Die. <laughs> His team is getting completely destroyed right now, which is very unfortunate. 24 damage. Right there. That right there. It, sh it shows and explains why the Ibex is an awful SMG. It shoots four bullets per burst, and he only hit two of those bullets out of eight possible bullets, which gives him a t grand total of 24 damage. Very significant amount of damage. Doesn't mean much if the weapon is terrible, right? You He's going to get bombed. He's going to get dropped. Unfortunate. So I'm going to get Dima blasted like every time. <laughs> like legitimately. Great record. The Lancer goes down here. It looks like the Saint may go down. Saint does not have all of his res perks, which is unfortunate. Garbo does see the runway up there. Is the run and the seeker? He's going to be in a one v two scenario here. They're going to drop down. He's getting shot from the oh, side as well. Where's my team? Exactly one v four scenario. Bog, bog, bomany, bog. <laughs> what up, Dark Nugget? Road Humpy, Humpany. Oh my goodness. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, you wish. Garbo gets some great downs there. Going to get hit by the impact grenade oh and then God, get dropped. Demo right now is being so toxic. I wish my team would stop fucking sitting. Like, I don't know what the fuck we doing. But when he... Oh, you motherfucker. And there goes oh, the right, saint. The next round. Woo! My shield's gone. This is going to be hard to come back from if they're going to be able to come back from it, but it's going to be very difficult. Juke gets dropped there. Just look at my wounds. I've been embarrassed in the uh, V's tournament. Oh, was you embarrassed? I don't believe that. Great Simtex grenade there for Garbo. I'm he does here. Well, there we go. The Garbo out. drops the runway here. He's getting pushed by the Seeker. Seeker doesn't. Re Seeker does reveal him, which is wild. He's getting flanked. He's one v two in it here. Damn, Unfortunately, Mario it's not enough. Ibex. We did it. We did four. We almost did five thousand damage with the Ibex. So it is match point going into the fourth round here. It is one two. Garbo did lose another teammate, which is very I unfortunate. Don't think he got and I definitely wouldn't look at it as an embarrassment. I would look at it as a learning experience. That's so he's going to pick up track arounds. He's going to pick up nimble hands. He's going to max that grenade out to potentially get the most amount of damage out of it humanly possible, which is great. I might have opted for flashbang, especially with the, the point being where we know it's going to be. It's going to be in the street. So there's going to be a lot of weird angles and a lot of long light lines of sight that he's going to have to be fighting around and if he's going to be swapping it up to the slc it doesn't lend itself to long range engagements unfortunately but i do think the simtex will come in handy gadgeteer might be a good pickup here as opposed to picking up um track arounds but you're not going to have enough utility to win 1v4 engagements that's just the unfortunate truth of it right what it is you know it was just a learning experience let's level up a little bit let's go I'm feeling the SLC here. Let's fucking let's let's give him a little spanking. 
I didn't realize she had it like that for real. I so Garbo is picking up the SLC here, and we do have the point here on the street side. Is Garbo going to tackle it head on, headlong like he did before? We do know that traditionally they're not pushing and util dumping the actual warehouse over on this side. So I wonder if he will push that and be able to use that to his advantage. He could do a hack and push where he hacks from that location and then actually deadhead straight into their warehouse here. Or he could try to play the sliding door. If he can find out exactly where the runway is going to be lined up at, then he, he'll be able to use that to his advantage. Because if she plays back, that's generally where the team is going to respawn and strike out at. So if he can upset their respawns and actually put them at a disadvantage, then that could help his team come out on top here. I've never seen Happy play until watching that tournament. And she played well. Every default Dallas goes bonkers with a devotion. Why does yours suck? I don't know, dude. The Lancer's but trying to play on the crow's nest. They're all on site. Woo! Great shots there. Let's Simtex go, comes go, out. 114 go, damage. He's 1v4 in these guys. Gets the drop. Is going to get dropped here, which is unfortunate. And if I can get my two teammates to focus up and actually, like, try... Nah, nah, what, Kyle? Nah, that defaults just automatically wreck ass. So good. That's well, fine, y'all. Keep doing it. Thank so Garbo know. does drop that seeker in mid. The Dallas is hitting some crazy shots good with the shots, Devo. Dude. He sees where they're spawning. They can flip the site. Yes, they can flip the site here and fight into them at that sliding door. Never mind, he turned on his brain, didn't he? He finally got one, didn't he? Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Garbo's in a 1v3 here, 1v2. Uh, potentially 1v3. He's going to get bombed out. He does avoid the damage there. Unfortunately, oh, gets dropped no. by the Seeker. I'm going to just get fucking teamed on. I don't know how this is going to work for me. I'm going to try. He does pick up Gadgeteer. He hasn't hacked really yet. Drops the runway. She got caught off guard. He does hear somebody close. Able to get significant damage on the Seeker and drop him. He does run into a hey, trip mine, which is okay. unfortunate. But he's going to try to retake sight here, which is a good move for him. They're only down by two respawns. Tons of damage on the Dima. Is the Dima going to grenade? He gets dropped trying to get out the window. He hears one and he sees where the Juke is actually Fuck at. me, bro. My two guys have to fucking play on point. I don't know what is up with them running around the map, but it has nothing to do with what we need to be doing. He's absolutely right. They're avoiding the point. Every time Garbo retakes the point and tries to lock it down, they're nowhere to be seen. This is classic, terrible matchmaking with teammates that really don't have any idea what's going on, which is unfortunate for him. He gets the down on the runway. He's going to get the Simtex out. Does no damage, but he's going to drop the Dima here. He may drop the Seeker. The Seeker's attention is pulled. One shot. Can anybody shoot him? He decides to do I'm some really cartwheels. I'm a bot. I need to take this point and not get snuffed here. He hears someone in warehouse. Flips the side. He's going to fight right up in their face. Drops the juke you there. Think you're juking, dude. I am the juke. Hmm. Garbo is the juke, apparently. The Lancer finally gets a down. Garbo's 1v1 in the sniper with the pistol. Yeah, he he sees where they're at, but he knows that they're above her in a, in a way. <clears throat> he kick flips the juke drone. <laughs> into the statue, which is wild. Uh, something I've never seen before. They're actually going to go no, for the res. No, 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 no. They're no, out of no, respawns. But like, I can't keep dying. Here, let's play some flashbangs. <clears throat> he does pick up Stalker. He does pick up the flashbangs. He will be going into the next round. They're in a good spot. They have one respawn left. They are out of respawns. The only person that is currently still actually up is the runway. Garbo knows where the runway is at. He should be able to lock this down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's going to hack, seize the runway, moving through the mid. Is he going to play sight, or is he going to be aggressive here? Door. 
He's gonna do a flank here. Tons of damage. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. SLC, man. Garbo has every perk except for padded steps. He has both of his utilities. Both of them, I believe, are maxed out at this point. The pistol has nothing on it, but he's got everything that he needs to succeed. And this is going to be in the courtyard area, which is going to be a very, 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 very hard fight to take. But I think he can do it. He's making some impressive shots with the SLC. The unfortunate thing is he's getting 1v4 consistently and they're able to get the reses off. So this is going into the final round here, and uh, the point, of course, is in this courtyard area, which is going to be very, very, very difficult to kind of lock down and actually play around. Is he going to actually opt to try to hold into the middle door here, or is he going to go through house? I don't know. I have a feeling he's going to push straight onto him, hack, and try to get as many people down on site as possible. Uh, but is the team going to back him up? That's the real question here. He can do as much as he can, but if the team's not going to be there to help, then he's just at a disadvantage. All right, let's turn this around, dude. So he's going to go straight to point. The juke, the sticky sensor comes out. That's a great Simtag, 78 damage. He is just getting util spammed like crazy. He does hear him in the side or in the house. Oh, He's getting on. shot in the back. He it's unfortunate. He literally waited me out. Uh, and there, guess what they're doing? They are sitting nowhere near the point. We, well, some words I said past 10 messages isn't allowed. I don't know what you said past 10 messages ago. Great shots on the juke there. Get her out of here. He's going to use this as bait to try to pick this uh, Hashtag family friendly adversary that. off. Gets the, oh my goodness, gets the drop what on the seeker, but the seeker is just. fucking happen? Can somebody explain to me? <clears throat> Go here. What are we doing, guys? Stop. Let, <clears throat> get on the point. Get on the motherfucking point. They're just headhunting his team. He's going to have to pull them to him. We're playing Call of, we're playing Call of Duty. Garbo gets the drop on the runway there. It is 9-9. Nine, nine. Is he going to opt to pick the sniper rifle up here? He does hear someone close. Simtex goes out. Gets the drop on the juke. Gets 1v3'd. How do you say that? Dear, dirty, dirty. Oh man, I, I don't know. And I, I don't want to say it wrong. Flashbang does come out, gets the flash on the juke. She's standing in the open. He does hack everybody. Dima was going to blast, but is unfortunately not able to. Great shots there on the Dima. He's going to pull out. Does see someone flanking. Two people flanking. Drops the runway there. Get good shots on the seeker. He's going to go back to point potentially here. He's in a bad spot. Dirty work. Oh, dirty work. That makes sense. Now that you said that, that actually makes a lot of sense. I'm Dima so drops himself, and he almost I drops the juke on. there. Let me just carry my team all the way. Get on the point, guys. I don't know why I gotta keep explaining this same shit. It's a point. It's an objective. objective He's gonna get the drop on the Dima. He knows where they're at. There get are... There are in the spawn there. Ugh. Yep, there's still one in the spawn. Seeker is on the door. He's going to flash. Misses. Throws that. Gets oh, a triple down. That two piece with that sticky, icky, that ooey gooey. Wow, Garbo, can't believe you couldn't read that. What can I not read? Dirty work. I want to make sure it's right, man. I don't read y'all's abbreviated messages. That's embarrassing. Garbo's. Almost, not, they're trash. trying to util him out so bad. They're all trash. They don't know how to hit shit. He's got to pick his fights. He's going to drop the Dima here, which is great. The yeah, runway man, gets dropped when she vaulted up top. Somewhat intelligent. Rez is going out. Garbo does get dropped Ooh. trying to stop the Rez. What's going on? Not much, man. How about yourself? First game on, and uh, it's a pretty sweaty one. It's a 3v4. We're oh, we're about to win it, bro. We're about to win it. Come on, don't die, Lancer. There you go, get her. Spray her down. Woo! That was good, dude. 
Good shit. We could have had a 10k plus gain there, but you know, try to be the best Ibex player in the world. Man, the fact that we've pulled that through. Dallas coming in with a now it's coming in with a clutch. I don't know what Kolioko was doing over there, the Lancer. He's supposed to be the backfield TTV, but uh, he was the backfield trash. So there you have it. That is Garbo's gameplay. Starting off really, really, really strong with the Ibex. Unfortunately, the Ibex just doesn't live up to pretty much every other SMG in the game currently. Uh, and that is the biggest downfall for the Ibex overall is it's just not able to compete with anything in the game. If you're getting dead shots, you're not able to connect with all four of those bullets it's just not netting you anything anywhere near it should be um but he was able to swap to the slc now things that could have been done differently i think garbo played the game very very well there's a lot of factors that were out of his control such as the afk teammates the lack of coordination between the team uh the inability to actually have proper matchmaking within the game i think that he did a fantastic job now whenever it comes to like how he prioritized his purchases and what weapons he decided to use, maybe the Knight or the LMPX may have fared him a little bit better to be a little bit more deadly at longer ranges. Then of course, having the flashbang and the Simtex just to be able to try to deter a push or allow him to either stop the sniper from sniping him or able to actually try to push as much as humanly possible with the flashbang could have netted him a lot more downs a lot earlier on but overall garbo did a fantastic job in my opinion here he did everything that he possibly could and you see that reflected in the video because he is able to actually pull the win off but be sure to let me know what you think about Garbo's gameplay in the comments down below. Also, if you want a gameplay analysis, please feel free to hit me up on Discord, Twitter, anywhere that you see me, YouTube comments, please let me know. Uh, I will be more than happy to accept any type of um, analysis that you want to submit over, unless they're meme videos, and if they are, then I will ban you from the channel, and I will ban you from the Discord, and I will be done with it, because... Uh, this is a way for us to do cross promotion. This is a way for us to actually learn and grow as a community. And if you're going to not take it serious, then I'm not going to take you serious. So be sure to keep that in mind. But if you do have a gameplay that you want me to analyze, please feel free to send it over. Also, be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Of course, those are the places to contact me. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button to become one of the 256 crew members. Lastly, on Thursdays and also on Sundays, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you are interested and available, please feel free to stop by and say hello there. Thanks for watching, guys.